questions? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Um, I guess I always have uh, this uh, combination between uh, fun and uh, anger. Yeah. I found, like yeah. personally, when you got to the reds, was when it really started getting quite like dark. I mean, is there sort of like, do you have like a color selection, or do you just go with what feels right, or is there sort of a process that you follow with the, yeah, with yeah. the colors? But it seemed like as soon as it got to red, it was just like it's on and just going at it really hard. Which is good. It's like, yeah, it's kind of ritualistic at that point. Yeah, the, the intention, like the selection of the colors were uh, intention, but yeah, the trick was... Uh, so do you have anything in mind that, that like, before you start that you yeah. want to create? Yeah, Did yeah, each time, yeah. And it's it just like in the time. development of the drawing mm. performance. What's too. more important, the performance aspects or the finished mm. piece at the end? Well, it depends. Uh, usually in uh, live performances, uh, it's more about the action mm -hmm. and the interaction. Sometimes it's interaction with the audience. But mm -hmm. uh, and I found that uh, after I'm looking at the live uh, final drawing, I'm saying, oh, I could have worked uh, on it uh, much more. But sometimes there are miracles, and uh, it's uh, really rare. But uh, I have like a three or four pieces that I, after I finished the, the whole live session, I said, wow, this is really something that I didn't expect, so. Do yeah. you ever upset your neighbors with your methodology? Well, I, um, I think it, they kind of enjoy it. I'm, I'm, first, I'm not try, I'm trying not to make that much noise, but uh, for instance, I'm sharing a studio uh, with other people and uh, Somebody suddenly turned to me and said, Oh, you're drawing? I thought you were listening to a techno music. <laughs> I said, Oh, that's cool. And, yeah, but uh, surprisingly, here I started with the image and I was uh, thinking about a sunset uh, uh, image. And it started with, I don't know if you recognize it or not, but it was a kind of a, like a heart shape. Yeah, yeah, no, I yeah, yeah. It, that was when I saw the bird coming in, I was like, yeah, he's got me, for sure. And, and it wasn't intention at all, like, uh, because I couldn't participate that the natural uh, movement of my arms would be like this, and not like this. So, so it was like more of a heart shape, and, and then I had to balance it towards, and I kind of like those things that happen in the like, performance. When you got the, the drips down the middle of like, maybe it's even the tree. Um, yeah, me too. Tree, tree, yeah, like the two drips that look like the trunk of the tree. Yeah. Uh -huh. But does it kind of, I don't know, does it matter to you what comes out of it? Because is it more about just the being action? in a meditative, performative state to something that is actually providing a backbone for your piece? Yeah. And that's irrelevant at the end of the day, or? Uh, free control, I always have to no, know no, which no. image I'm going to. So that's come out exactly the image that you predetermined to um, More or less, yeah. I kind of thought of it was it would be a more orangey with uh, more colors, but uh, more or less, yes. I kind of thought of a, a round image, and uh, I didn't expect that it will end up like a Gottlieb style. <laughs> But have you actually thought about doing it where it's not preconceived, I mean, and just literally the music and the colours or whatever, it's just something very automated? Uh, no, I, I selected the music specifically and kind of, I, I didn't like uh, exercise before, so like when I did it now, I just understand that I, there is some reason why I choose this and while I was planning the image because it was really fitting for me. Uh, no, I'm saying, have you ever tried to not have any of it planned? So you just have a, a music on random, you have your thing, you just go yeah, for whatever comes yeah, to yeah, it. Have you ever done that? Yeah, I have. Yeah. You don't like 
I, I had also without music. Uh, yeah, you know, like it's just like in when you are in the studio. Sometimes you are facing a white canvas, and then uh, you start into. No, no, but I'm just trying to understand which one you prefer. Do you prefer oh, which one I prefer? Or, which, or have you tried just total? Chaos? I always prefer. No, 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 no. I got it. <laughs> I always prefer uh, like starting with something and then surprise myself. Yeah. Always. That's the best part. And what are you doing with these things now? You've got a whole load of these drawings that you're going to display. And would you just display them on their own without showing up into your performance? <coughs> Uh, they go both, yeah. Sometimes I'm displaying them, sometimes I'm displaying with the video. But, uh, but uh, the commentary is a very uh, important aspect for me. So, because it gives me like a multi layers of playing with. Sometimes it's photos, sometimes it's uh, the video, and sometimes it's the uh, work itself or animation. But yeah. Like I know that uh, a lot of uh, performance artists like you know like to do the live thing and that's it. And I'm <laughs> different in that. Way. Would you regard this as performance art? Yes, it is. Yeah. Do you ever engage with your audiences differently? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'm, I ask people to come and participate and guide them. <coughs> what I want to, them to do. Do you, if, if you ask them to participate, uh, do you let them in on your idea, the, the image that you have, yeah. or do they just yeah. go with It's a complex process, but uh, and it's gradually I understood that uh, the, the best part with the, with the combining the audience is just like trying to guide them mm -hmm. and uh, towards some direction, otherwise it's just becoming a mess and fun, but pointless. What happened, where did you, what, what was the thinking behind the music choice? Uh, I started with a, a middle section that was there, it was like very, uh, very, uh, yeah. Surreal? In a way, like a twilight well, image, in a way. When I used the, the the black and then I tried to use the white, yeah. which which didn't work. But uh, yeah, I thought about like uh, some some kind of a uh, unfocused thing, and then went from there with the yeah. But uh, the music was just like uh, you know, it's I like the rhythm. Yeah, that's the best uh, okay. part for me, like choosing the right rhythm for the action. Mm -hmm. I kind of really want to see one where it's not, because that to me would this would would be the most obvious choice to do that kind of piece to. In the terms, music itself. Yeah, because it is rhythmic. It mm -hmm. is meditative. When you're dan you know, dancing, people, you know, you were actually when most of the time when I was watching like that, if you didn't have a drawing there at all, you just look like some crazy raver just dancing against a wall, mm -hmm. like day by lights and yeah, things. exactly, and just doing big fish or fish. But um, I uh, I quite like to see you do that with some big, really slow, painfully oh, slow music, but doing it as slow and uh, but no, not slow, even slow, but as a you different tempo. Your, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the music kind of. But it's always uh, about reacting uh, for uh, the rhythm. Okay. So like, if I'm so listening to react, so something really piece. melodic, uh, uh, it, would be it will be right. really weird to like go crazy. In there. Thanks, guys. Oh, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.